Hi, my name is Frankie and in this video I'm going to show you how you can record your keystrokes uh, using a program, a freeware, freeware called QI Press, together with OBS Open Broadcasting Studio. So the advantage of this method is that as you record your gameplay or your game, you can also record your keystrokes in real time and therefore anybody who views your game will be able to understand which keys at which precise instant did you press uh, on the keyboard. So without further ado, let's uh, start. And I'm going to start by firing up QS, QI Press. I'm running the Q, QI Press Lite version and it's loaded. So here is a test. Let me type something. Okay, so you see that? So by default, the uh, the output appears on the lower uh, left hand corner. Okay, now uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just clear my icons a little bit. I'm just going to move them away so that uh, the lower left hand side is clear. And uh, second thing is I want to just personalize my background so that instead of instead of loading a picture, let's just put a solid color. I'm going to choose black. Black's a good color. Okay, so there we go. So let's start off, start up QB OBS Studio. Now, uh, one thing you must note is that um, my OBS window, I'm going to resize it so that it doesn't overlap with the QI Press uh, rectangle that's shown on the bottom left hand corner. Uh, so I don't want to have any overlapping, so let me just resize this OBS window a little bit. There you go, perfect. Okay, um, let's start with the easy easy things. I'm going to add uh, two images. So I'll just call them, I'll just leave it as a default name as image. And I'm going to browse for um, images. Let's add in the tornado logo. Okay, next. Let's add another image. And uh, this time I'm going to, it's called image one. Okay, so let's browse and get the Spectrum Holobyte uh, logo. Third image I'm going to add is the Dogs of War Virtual Unit emblem or the badge. Okay, so let me just resize this a little bit. And uh, let's resize the badge a little bit. Okay, not too bad. Ah. Order move to top, so sort of maximizing the space there. And then let's add another one, which is the uh, video capture device, basically my webcam video. Mm. Let's see now, is it on? Integrated webcam. Okay, it's probably not on because I've got my uh, Camtasia rec screen recorder with the webcam. So let me just turn off the webcam here. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so I have disabled the webcam from Camtasia and let's uh, Add the webcam once more to OBS. So add uh, video capture device. There we go. That's perfect. So let me just resize this. Okay. Okay, how's that? A little bit better. Right, um, as you can see, you, uh, the keystrokes don't appear yet. That's because I need to add another display capture object. Okay. Now, now what I need to do is uh, 
this is actually capturing my current screen. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to crop it. I'm going to uh, reduce the height vertically as well as the length uh, from the right. I'm going to crop it. So to do that, I need to click on properties. I need to go to right click, transform, edit transform. Uh, let's change that to 1165 and 615. How's that? Okay, now position, let's position this over here and we're more or less done. Okay, so one more time. Um, that's because I memorized the settings. So let's look at the transform settings. These are the position coordinates, resolution and size. And we've got the um, crop values. Okay, so you notice that if I were to crop, change the crop from uh, 1165 to 1265, the rectangle will, will reduce the size and so on and so forth. So at the top, if I want to reduce it to 4, change it to 6, there you go. So right now we've got a section of uh, text that uh, that is working here. Yeah. Whatever keystrokes appear uh, that I type will appear on the bottom left hand corner, including uh, including my mouse buttons. Okay, next I want to add also a game capture. Uh, game capture. Oh, hold on a second. Let's run. Let's run the defend. Okay. So I've got my defend running. Okay. And uh, now let's add in. Let's add in game capture. Game catch object. And I'm going to choose. Okay, here you go. There, see that? So that appears now. Perfect. So that's it really. That's it. Done. Okay, this is my DOS, DOS box. Uh, I changed the mode of the game capture to capture specific window and I've selected the DOS box uh, defend. So now, for me to record this thing, I just need to click on Start Record. Okay, and uh, for me to play the game, I just click on the DOS box window and I can just overlap it on top of here. Let's resize it a little bit. Okay, so I'll, do, I'll click start record and uh, when I'm ready to stop recording, I'll just click on stop record. So the main thing here is uh, we looked at how to set up the do I press uh, real-time keyboard capture okay, and also how to set up the various objects in the OBS 64-bit. OBS, uh, okay, that's it. Hope this has been useful.